So I wish you a good evening. My name is Jerome Points, and as Township Clerk, it is my privilege and honor to officially call this 168th annual town meeting of New Trier Township to order. Would you please join me in, uh, and Mrs. Virginia Hoynes will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we are pleased to be meeting here in our historic town hall. This is our home where we deliver the day-to-day -day services of township government to our residents. On behalf of your elected officials and dedicated township staff, we are delighted that you are here, especially on this beautiful evening. Welcome to the annual town meeting. How appropriate that we gather at the township building this evening on the heels of such a unique, controversial, Exhilarating, exhausting, <laughs> and, and certainly clear consolidated election. The voters have spoken with resounding clarity. All interested parties involved ought to recognize that the township is in a wonderful position to move forward with neighbors helping neighbors to fulfill the mission of township government with an indisputable mandate from our residents. Thank you to all the candidates, both successful and unsuccessful, in this township election. Your willingness to offer your time and services to your fellow citizens throughout a hard-fought campaign was impressive. The election introduced many new people into the process and absolutely increased awareness of and support for township services in the community. We gather tonight as a re-energized township. As residents and friends gather to share in our 168th year of participatory government, this is the point where citizens have a direct voice. Having begun in colonial America, townships are the oldest form of government continuing to function today. In 1789, the Congress of this new nation adopted the Northwest Ordinance to organize the land in the expanding territories, ordering that it be surveyed and plotted into a grid system of six by six miles square, ultimately leading to the formation of Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Illinois. In 1818, Illinois was admitted to the Union as a state, and later, the 1848 state constitution created Illinois townships as we know them now. This evening, right now, as we're gathering, there are over 1,400 other annual town meetings being conducted throughout the state of Illinois. The theme of this year's annual town meeting is working for the common good. To focus on that theme, tonight's program speaker is Jeannie Winstead Rosser, licensed clinical social worker and our very own social services administrator. She will give us an insightful look inside the human services that the township strives to deliver every day. Jeannie, Jeannie. We look forward to your informative presentation. This evening, we will honor 10 residents recognized because of their generous gifts of time, expertise, and distinguished service in the community. Would the award winners please stand as I call their name to receive our applause after all 10 are standing. Retiring Township Advisory Committee members, Chun and Linda Tom of Glenview, Tammy Smiley, who will make, would you recognize you stand and we'll recognize you. Janet Lehrman of Glencoe, and Community Services Administrator Brian Leverins will recognize them for all their years of service. Cool. And if you'd stay standing, we'll have the other people join you. Retiring Township officials, 
including Jerry Conweiler of Winnetka, Jan Gargula of Wilmette, Uh, Hamilton Chang did uh, have the courtesy to let me know he wasn't going to be here. He expressed his regrets, uh, but both are from Wilmette. And uh, Jerry will receive the Township Excellence Award by fellow trustee Stefan Moser. Supervisor Patty Brennan of Wilmette, who will be honored with the Distinguished Service Award by Accessor Jan Churchwell. Trustee Stefan Moser of Wilmette will be celebrated by Supervisor Patty Brennan with the Township's highest honor, the George E. Noyes Community Spirit Award. <clears throat> Finally, Community Service Administrator Brian Leverance will present the Peer Jury Scholarship Award to Jacob Shaw, and Jacob will read his prize-winning essay to us all. So would you please give them a big round of applause? <laughs> Sincerely, thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, additionally, the proposed agenda features reports from your elected officials who have promised, we promise, to keep it brief and update you on township activities. Remember, if you want to be part of the action, you are cordially invited to attend our regular township board meetings that are customarily held on the second Tuesday of each month right here. You're always welcome here. At this time, I would like to introduce the current team of elected officials. Would the Township Board please stand? Our Supervisor, Patty Brennan, our Assessor, Jan Churchwell, <coughs> our Trustees, Jerry Conwiler, and Stefan Moser. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Something else very exciting for, for us um, in attendance, we have five new faces in the audience. Uh, well, Alan's not really a new face. He's, <laughs> he's, he's not an old face, he's just a familiar face. And then uh, Alan served as a trustee, and I had the good fortune of serving with Alan on the board. And now Alan was just elected our supervisor. So, with the five new, newly elected township officials, please stand. Supervisor elect Alan Goldberg of Wilmette, trustee elect Kevin Boyd of Wilmette. Trustee elect Gail Schnitzer Eisenberg of Wilmette, <laughs> Trustee elect John Thomas of Winnetka, and Trustee elect Elliot Robbins of Wilmette. <laughs> and sincerely, congratulations on your willingness to serve and your enormous election victory. And on behalf of the current team of township elected officials, we wish you well and pledge to do whatever we can to make your term successful. Please join with me in a moment of silence to honor two township, former township officials who passed away in recent years. One who we didn't recognize in recent his name is Supervisor Keki Bo, who gave a tremendous amount of years to the township, and also just recently Kathy Almond, uh, a former assessor, she passed away. So if you just remember them, their service and passion for helping neighbors. In the audience, you will find our dedicated township staff. Would our staff please stand and be recognized? Please. So you know that we know that the reason the township is so well run, efficient, effective is because of these people standing. Our Director of Administration and Finance, Diane Tai. Our Community Services Administrator, Brian Leverins. Our Social Services Administrator, Jeannie Winstead-Rosser and our Deputy Assessor, Leonard Shiflett, and one of my favorite people, our Deputy Clerk, Sandy Forrester. There's Sandy. Thank you. Um, we also have a very helpful, we have a very helpful administrative assistant, um, uh, Larisha Pearson, but she couldn't be here this evening, but you, you, you certainly know her if you've, if you've come into the township. So that's our staff. We also... We also Gratitude to members of the New True Citizens League and their president, Peter Tyre. <laughs> Peter and his 
huge crew of helpers were tireless. Peter tireless. He and, and their efforts as part of the Citizens League, which I just want to explain, the Citizen League has been around for a hundred years. It consists of Republicans, Democrats, Independents, disgruntled. <laughs> and members who are, and I've seen their meetings, they are conservatives, they're liberals, they're moderates, they're all over the place. But they have many different views. What they share in common, they want to serve on a citizen's watchdog committee over the township for more than 100 years. And they always welcome new members, and they do invite your participation in this truly reinvigorated caucus. A town meeting calls for direct citizen participation. Throughout tonight, okay, we're going to approve the agenda with one modification. That is, we've asked Mr. Shaw, Jacob Shaw, our peer group, he's going to be the first award recipient. Unless there's an objection, will you take that in the agenda approval? Okay. And then we elect a moderator. Well, sorry. <laughs> we elect a moderator, and then we'll adopt the rules and procedure. We'll vote on a resolution to set next year's annual town meeting. I'm going to clarify who can actually vote. Uh, our deputy clerk in the back, she's had clipboards. We have one up here. If you would please sign in so we have a record of who's here. And if you'd only take a green card if you actually live and vote in the township. So when you entered here, okay, you had a chance. And if you didn't, you can still do this. We, you, we either need to be an elector, and an elector has a green card, a legally registered township resident, or <coughs> other. Okay. And if you're other, you're a friend or a guest of the township, uh, we are happy that you're here with us tonight, but please remember, do not to vote on any of the questions presented. All registered voters who are also New Trier Township residents would get this little green card, okay? No. Okay, Sandy? We have a bunch of them. Okay, we have them back. If you want to circulate them, and only please take them if you're a registered New Trier Township voter. And then, then, therefore, you're a qualified elector for tonight's meeting. And if there's any questions about a voice vote, then we're going to go to the, the card system. Okay. The first order of business is the approval of our agenda with modification. Uh, I call upon an elector of New Trier Township to offer a motion to accept the agenda as presented in the program. So, oh, I see a resident. <laughs> He's not rising, but he, and would you please state your name, resident, and what village you're from? John Thomas Winnetka. And you wish to? Approve the agenda. I approve the agenda. So, and is there a second? Second. And you are? My name is Irwin Smiley of Wilmette. Smiley of Wilmette. <laughs> It's been moved and seconded. All in favor of approving the adopting the agenda, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> we now have a, our agenda approved.